Okay, so whenever we left off, we had both our production Amplify Nuxt and our stage Amplify Nuxt applications deployed and ready to go. So today what we're gonna do is go over how to replace this default Amplify Nuxt domain for both our stage and our production applications with our own domain. So first up, let's go into our AWS Management Console and let's head into Route 53. What we're gonna do is set up a hosted zone for our domain. So let's go ahead into hosted zones and create hosted zone. And within here, we wanna enter in our domain name. I'm gonna be working with a domain called Malium.co. It's just a spare domain I have laying around. Let's go ahead and create hosted zone. And now that we have our hosted zone created, we're gonna to need to give it control of our domain by changing our DNS name servers. So go ahead and expand this hosted zone details section. And right over here, you should see your name servers. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to log into the provider that your domain is registered through. I'm using Google domains. And then for your domain, head into the DNS section. Once there, you should see a section called name servers. You're gonna to wanna to use custom name servers here. So go ahead and check that. Head back over to Route 53 and then just individually copy and paste each of these lines into your name servers for your domain. And go ahead and hit save. And then you'll probably get a notification that this will take effect within the next 48 hours. There's no need to wait for that to happen. We can go ahead and move forward with our lesson. So now while we're here, you might want to also transfer over any custom records you might have on your domain already. So anything like email that's set up, go ahead and transfer those over to your Route 53 hosted zone that we just created. To do that, just go ahead and click this create record button for each of the records that you need to transfer over and follow the flow within there. So now that we have our hosted zone created and our domain is in the process of switching over to our hosted zone for DNS management, we're ready to bind our Amplify application to our domain. So let's go ahead and head over to the AWS Amplify service. So right here. And then click on the application once this loads that you want to set the domain to. So Amplify Nuxt for me. And then over in the left nav bar under app settings, go ahead and select domain management. And then in the top right corner, click add domain. And then within this domain dropdown, go ahead and click the domain that we just added. And then click configure domain. So here we're gonna be asked which Amplify environment we want to bind our root domain to. If you've been following along with the Amplify Nux series, go ahead and click prod for both of these. And then next we're gonna to wanna to give our staging environment its own subdomain, so go ahead and click add. And then for the subdomain, you can enter whatever you want. I'm gonna enter in stage, and then make sure that your stage or dev environment is selected for the Amplify environment. And then from here, we're good to go ahead and save. And it will be taken to this page where it's going to go ahead and go through the SSL configuration and then it's going to activate our domain for us. So once you've reached the screen, you're kind of on a holding pattern until those DNS name servers actually update for your domain to the ones that we have in Route 53. While most domain providers tend to give you that 48 hour window for the uh, DNS transfer, uh, in most cases it takes somewhere between 30 minutes to a couple of hours. So once your SSL creation succeeds, it's going to go ahead and ask you to update the CNAME record within your DNS provider. However, since we're switching this to an AWS Route 53 hosted zone, uh, once this step recognizes that those name servers have switched over, it will automatically add the CNAME record for us. So we can just sit tight here and ignore this step completely. Okay, and then once your DNS name servers have switched, the CNAME record has automatically been added for you. We get moved on to this domain activation step, which Amplify says may take up to 30 minutes. So again, we're just kind of holding here until that happens. Okay, great. So once those three steps, SSL creation, SSL configuration, and domain activation go away and our status changes to available, we know we are all set to go. So let's go ahead and try to visit our domain here. And we should see our Amplify Nuxt application right at that domain. And then you can see we got automatically transferred from just Malium.co to www.malium.co here. And then it looks like I accidentally made the subdomain for my stage branch master. Um, so let's go ahead and test that out really quick. And there we go. We can see that that is definitely the stage site. So that's loading in okay. Let's go ahead and change that to what I had intended as stage. Let's go manage subdomains and change master here to stage. Go ahead and update. Okay, so after we updated that, we got taken back to our domain management page for our Amplify Nuxt application. And you can see the status went from green to this blue, which means that it's working on something and that would be this stage change here. So once this goes back to green, we know we are all set to go for our stage subdomain. Okay, so now that our status is back to green, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that our master to stage subdomain change is good to go. So let's go ahead and test that out. 
And there we go. We can see that that is definitely our stage application. Okay, and with that, I think we are good to go. We have our stage application set up for our testing environment. We have our production application set up for our production environment. Thank you so much for watching this series. I hope it helped you out. I'll probably continue to add on little one-off things to the series as time goes on. Uh, I know I've gotten a couple of requests for particular topics, so be sure to follow along and stay tuned for future updates to this series as well as other series here on Jaeger. Thank you.